Out of Africa, the Basenji dog breed was originally found in the Congo. These dogs use both scent and sight to hunt and were originally used to flush small game into hunters' nets and to control village rodent populations. These days, they also make for great, loving, furry family members. Clever and endearing, these dogs are good companions for the person or family. Who can stay a step ahead of them? They can adapt to apartment living, and even novice pet parents. We'll find these pups to be great first-timer dogs. Just make sure you can provide enough exercise to meet their high energy levels. You'll need to commit to plenty of walks and playtime. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more pet-related content. Liking and sharing our content helps massively with the growth of our channel. So it's very much appreciated. History. The Basenji is probably one of the oldest breeds of domesticated dog. And perhaps that's why he's not a barker. Early people may have preferred a quiet dog on hunts. His metabolism is unlike that of any other domesticated dog. And like wild canids, the female Basenji only cycles once a year. Compared to twice a year for other domesticated dogs. They were discovered by Westerners in the Congo region of West Africa in the 19th century. There, the dogs were used to flush game into nets, to carry goods and to warn of the approach of dangerous animals when on the trail. Size. Males stand 17 inches at the shoulder and weigh about 24 pounds. And the females 16 inches and 22 pounds. Personality. The Basenji is a hound, which means he's intelligent and independent, but also affectionate and alert. He's a sight hound, which means that motion catches his eye. And he'll chase whatever he sees that moves, like cats, squirrels, rabbits. Patience and a sense of humor are essential to living with a Basenji. He will chew up or eat whatever's left in his reach. And he's quite capable of putting together a plan to achieve whatever it is he wants. Whether that's to get up on the kitchen counter or break into the pantry. Health. They are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they're prone to certain health conditions. Not all Basenjis will get any or all of these diseases. But it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. If you're buying a puppy, find a good breeder who will show you health clearances. For both your puppy's parents. One of the most common diseases are Fanconi syndrome. Immunoproliferative systemic intestinal disease. Hemolytic anemia. Hypothyroidism. Persistent pupillary membrane and hip dysplasia. Please do not forget to check our description. You will find a list of products that we used and recommend. By purchasing one of those products, you are immensely supporting our channel care. The Basenji is a hunting dog and needs daily exercise. Some do fine with a daily walk, while others require more enthusiastic forms of exercise. Basenjis raised with children often will spend their time wearing each other out. If you can provide him with a couple of 30-minute walks or play sessions every day, he's well suited to apartment or condo life. Feeding. Recommended daily amount is 3 quarters to 1 cup of high-quality dry food a day. Divided into two meals. Note. How much your adult dog eats depends on his size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. With his lightly built body, often likened to that of a deer. The Basenji is ill-suited to carry excess weight. Keep your dog's physique sleek by measuring his food. And feeding him twice a day rather than leaving food out all the time.